this, pandas? Are you moving house? No, Mr. Narrator. We're packing for an adventure. An adventure? Yes, we are going to climb the mountain behind our house. Oh, how exciting, CJ. Have you ever done that before? No, but how hard can it be? It's only a little mountain. Hmm, uh, it looks a lot bigger than it did from our treehouse. And scarier. And very, very high. We don't even know how to get up there in the first place. Maybe there's something in the bags that can help. Maybe this could help. What about this? Oh, what, what about this? Ooh, what about this one? Oh, could we use this? Could we use this? Oh, I've got maybe the this. perfect thing. Maybe this could help. Could we use this? What about this? Um, guys, I think I might be able to help. Wow, Benji, what is that? It's a compass. What does it do? It always points you in the right direction. I've had it since I was a little panda. Whenever I feel a bit lost, I take it out and it helps me find the right way. How can that little thing help us to conquer that great big giant thing? Because I know how to use it. Come on everyone, I know the mountain looks big, but we can do it. Yay! Yay! We made it! Well done, Benji. You and your compass got us to the top of the mountain. Mr. Narrator, will you take a picture of us? Well done, pandas. You conquered that giant mountain thanks to that compass at the bottom of Benji's bag. The Bible has a brilliant story of a young boy who faced a real-life giant. What he carried with him seemed too small to be any help, but God used it in an unbelievable way. Would you like to know what happened? Yes, yes please. please. Why don't you get comfortable and we can open the Bible together. Hey, I'm Bear Grylls and I'm going to read you a story called The Young Hero and the Horrible Giant. Now, God's people had some scary enemies, but the Philistines were the scariest of them all. And now the Philistines had come to fight them. The Philistines had a secret weapon called Goliath. Goliath was a terrifying soldier, and worst of all, he was a giant. A giant so strong and so tall and so scary that no one had ever been able to fight him and live to tell the tale. So there they were, the Philistines standing on the top of one hill and God's people standing on the top of the other. Every day, Goliath came out and shouted, Send your best soldier to fight me. If he wins, we will be your slaves. But if I win, you will be our slaves. No one spoke. No one moved. Chickens! Goliath bellowed. Your God can't save you. I'll rip off your heads and have you on toast. Greedy eyes glowered at them hungrily from under his horrible helmet, as if any minute he really might just gobble them all up. And he laughed his terrible laugh. Ha! 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 It boomed, echoing horribly around the dry, dry valley. Well, Goliath might just as well have been a green, slimy monster with three heads, because God's people froze with fear. Their eyes glazed over and they turned deathly pale. They knew if someone didn't do something quick, if someone didn't save them. But God would do something. He would send someone to save them. Now, you remember that David was the younger son of Jesse. Well, his brothers were soldiers in the army. And one day when David brought his brothers their lunches, he saw Goliath and he saw how scared everyone was. Don't be afraid, David said. I'll fight him for you. Ha, <laughs> you're only a little shepherd boy, the king said. And Goliath, he's a great soldier. How will you fight him? God will help me, David said. So the king gave David his royal armor to wear. 
but it was too heavy, it was too big, and David couldn't even walk with it. I won't need this, David said. And instead, David picked out five smooth stones from the stream. One, two, three, four, five. And then he took a slingshot and he walked towards Goliath. Step, step, step closer. Goliath then walked towards David. Thud, thud, thud. You? Goliath peered down at the small boy. I'm little, David shouted up to him, but God is great. Goliath laughed an even terribler laugh than usual. <laughs> it went. And with just one swing of his giant sword, Goliath could finish the boy off. But David kept going. It isn't how strong you are or how many swords or spears you have that will save you. It is God who saves you. This is God's battle and God always wins his battles. And at that, David put a small stone in his sling, swung it around, and then let it go. And the little stone whizzed like a bullet through the air. And it struck Goliath, thud, right between the eyes. Goliath wasn't laughing now. He stumbled, he staggered, and then crash, he fell dead. When the Philistines saw the great Goliath was dead, they all ran away. And when God's people saw them running away, they cheered because God had saved his people. David was a hero. And many years later, God would send his people another young hero to fight for them. A young hero who would also save them. But this hero would fight the greatest battle the world has ever known. Open the Bible, let wonder fill our hearts. On every page of voices calling, let wonder light the path. We're a part of God's great story of grace amazing. A world he's changing, a king who's saving.